All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So I'm going to try to keep this video somewhat polite. I highly doubt it because this is a passionate subject for me, and it's something that irks my soul if I can find that dark, dark thing somewhere. The, the mentality, and this is, this is about a topic that's currently being pushed by bigger YouTubers, that Linux is not for everyone. Thanks for speaking the obvious there mr big youtuber people pushing shit because really at the end of the day that's a i look at that and go a duh thanks for speaking the obvious mr fucking obvious if anybody and i mean anybody thinks a one-size-fits-all approach works you're a fucking moron this is something that I am very passionate about because I am more nuanced. I believe life is nuanced. And that yes and no dynamics are not always the best, best way to solve stuff. If you have what you need or if stuff works for you and you don't want to change or this tool that you tried doesn't work for you, that's okay. If you've tried Linux, if you tried Mac OS, if you tried Windows, if you tried iOS, you've tried driving a Toyota or a Chevy or whatever, whatever you have tried in life and it doesn't work for you, that is okay. The only thing I will tell you is just have an open mind when you are trying those things, take away your preconceived notions of things. And you might find a better alternative. You might not. And that is okay. I've yet to find a, well, I can video edit in Linux perfectly fine. I have not found a video editor that I prefer across all three platforms better than Corel Video Studio. That is just a personal preference. I can do my editing in Caden Live. I do it on Windows. I do it on Mac OS. I do it on, or sorry, not Mac OS. I do it on Linux. I do, unfortunately, Mac, I have to use OpenShot on, but whatever. You get the point. It's about using what works for you. And I am in no place to tell anybody else that their choice is wrong or that this is the only tool for the job. But on the same note, if you are trying experiences in life, keep an open mind because that will change your perspective on a lot of things, especially take all your preconceived notions and all the other nonsense when it comes to your needs and just, okay, this is going to be a totally different experience and I need to understand that. It changes a lot of the outlook. Preconceived notions need to go. What, what you need is bare, hey, this is what I need from X or Y. And choose X, Y, A, choose A, choose Z, choose P for all I care. But make the choice that's right for you. But the only way to make the right choice is to experience as many possible things as possible. As Das Geek says, fill your brains. I'm going to say fill your brains with knowledge and experiences so you can make the best decision that is for you. And to any jack off, two bit tech reviewer, cock, douchebaggy assholes on YouTube that push the narrative that their choice is the only choice and the right choice, they're wrong. 
And by like, I'm gonna say, just keep an open mind and look for experiences. You have to want it, and sometimes it takes work. If it doesn't work, go back to what you know. It's okay to try stuff and not like things. We're humans. There's a lot of stuff we don't like. We're unique. We have different tastes. And at the end of the day, it's those differences that allow for great conversations. You know, we we in the Linux community can debate UI, UX, what makes what makes this good, that good, that this bad, this take your pick. I can talk about why I love a bunch of games on the Wii U and you think it's trash. Why I own a PS Vita and I think it's still think it's hands down one of the best fucking handhelds ever, but you can think it's trash. And that's okay. I'm not gonna advocate that what I choose is gonna be the right choice for you. What I will advocate though is that you try it. Doesn't matter what it is. We test drive cars so we can see how they drive. Why would you not do the same thing with the rest of your life experiences? Because you're only going to know what's right fit for you when you have experienced as much as you can. So no, Linux isn't for everyone but neither is anything else in life.